Well, good evening, everybody, from UDA High School tonight. The uh, Trojans here at Gordon E. Foster Gymnasium will play host to the Vikings of Williams Valley in a non-league ball game here scheduled on a very, very special night. This was the night of champions here at UDA. And uh, we do thank the Williams Valley Viking coaches and players and fans for giving us their cooperation so that we could get this great uh, event underway. Now we're ready for basketball, however. The Trojans have met these Vikings before and uh, are still looking for a win over these, tro over these Vikings. They have um, a very good Viking ball club this year. They're about 13 and six or something like that. Phil Stroop, a transplant from Upper Dolphin this year to uh, Williams Valley. Josh Radyshock, one of the big guns for the Vikings in there. Josh scored his 1,000th point at uh, Millersburg uh, earlier on. And Dustin Hand, who has come on to play excellent basketball for Williams Valley. Uh, he's one to watch. Murray, number 24. And James Ellers, number 21. Dennis Casper sends his squad out there, and the Trojans now will introduce their ball players for the 2004-2005 Trojan basketball team. 6'3 sophomore, number 34, Skyler Fultz will start at center tonight for UDA. We hope Skyler has a good ball game in there. Number 32, Zach Lottenschlager. He's a senior. He's introduced as one of the forwards. And a 6'1 sophomore, sophomore, Drew Gunderman, is introduced next for UDA. Number 24 is Blake Miller. He will play point guard for UDA tonight. And the other guard out here for the Trojans is Matt Oxendine. So we'll be getting it going here in just a moment, followed by, or as soon as we have the national anthem, and then we'll be set to go. Trojans will get their final instructions here now as the Vikings break the huddle and come out here ready to play basketball. Number 31 there is Hand. Number 24 is uh, Murray. 21 back here, Zellers. Uh, 30 or 44 there, Zach, uh, or uh, not Zach, uh, Radichok. And uh, Phil Stroop, number 30 something, will jump center for the. Uh, Vikings. So he'll be facing off against uh, UDA's uh, Fultz. So here we go. Opening tip of tonight's ball game. Non-league ball game here in a crowded gymnasium. Good crowd here tonight for the ball game as there always is whenever these two teams meet and particularly tonight but because of the special events occurring before this ball game. Spinning it over here into the corner it goes. Here's Joshua Nightshock for three, two. It's good. Josh, a good ball player. Big, hefty fella in here, but boy, he can shoot, as I said earlier. He scored his 1,000th point uh, a couple of weeks ago and has been racking him up since. And he go inside here now on a baseline. A fake here from Fultz. Back outside it comes. Now inside run off the hands. Picked up in here by Stroop. And back comes uh, Murray, number 24. Bouncing it over here for Josh Radichok. There are two Radichoks. The other one is Pat. Here's Stroop for two. It's no good. Rebound comes down over there to Oxidine. Ox coming up court with it. Looking ahead here for a fake by Lonschlager. Then back outside it comes. Miller for three. Nope. Off the mark. Rebound tipped around in air. Controlled to uh, hand. And Murray up court with it in a hurry. Over to the corner. He goes to Radichok again. Verdichuk looking inside, nothing doing there. Murray from outside for three, it's good. Jimmy Murray, Jimmy Murray hits a three, it's five nothing uh, Williams Valley. And back comes Oxidine for UDA. Over to wing. Oxidine with it, Murray tried to make the steal, couldn't quite do it. Miller with it, goes inside. Now they'll go across the court. From three over here from uh, Gunderman, no good. Verdichuk with the, uh, then a walk as uh, Murray Tangled up over here by Oxidine. Not doing a good job that time to tie up the ball and give the ball back to UDA. Trojans need a bucket for two or three. Here's Harmon into the ball game for the Trojans. He's replacing Miller for UDA. 
Near wing over here for Oxidine, Harmon. Whoops, lost the handle on over there to Drew G uh, Gunderman, but he's got it back. Last ball game, the Trojans had three in double figures. Here's Lodgelinger for a shot, no good. Rebounded in there to uh, Radaichak. Murray almost had it stolen from him, but back come the Vikings. Murray going all the way down on the right wing, looking inside for Radaichak. Now he throw it inside for him, but uh, Radaichak had turned around. Josh had spun around in there trying to make a move on uh, Lodgelinger, I guess it was. And as he turned around, Murray fired the ball inside and Josh wasn't there. <clears throat> so the Trojans, let's see if we can take advantage of that turnover now. Oxidine back over there for a pass inside on the baseline for two, no good. And Radaichak with the ball down here. I wouldn't call it a rebound, I don't think he hit anything. Murray coming up court with it for Williams Valley. 5.30 left here in the first quarter. Murray spinning it over here now for that uh, 21. We came up here in a second. On the baseline it goes. Back out here for Radaichak. Radaichak from outside. Off the mark. No good. Rebounded in there nicely by Zach Mace. And then Zach is fouled. Be the first foul of ball game on hand, I believe it was. Yeah, Dustin Hand picks up the first foul of the ball game. Mark Mace into the game for UDA. Mace, Harmon, Oxidine, Zach Mace. And uh, Drew Gunderman for the Trojans at the moment. Now inside it goes. Look out. Mark will have to push it on the wing over here. Shot from over there for three, two. Is Matt Harmon good for two? <clears throat> and so it's 5-2. 21 in there is Zellers. The pass underneath. Shot put up. No good. Rebound comes down. It's going to be tied up. On the tie up, it'll be UDA ball. to the Trojans. And so the uh, Trojans get the ball on the jump, what we used to call the jump. When all those older players played here, that was called a jump. Now it's just a tie up, I guess, or whatever. Here's Oxidine and got a foul, or no, three seconds called, I guess. Three seconds, I think Mark Mace might have been lounging in the lane for three. And he got called for it. So Murray will bring the ball up. Over there for that hand. Inside he goes to Josh Radaichak for two. Missed the shot. Rebound comes down. Let's see who's got it. It's going to be battled for in there. Hand pulls it out of there for Williams Valley. Ball tipped out here. Picked back up now by uh, the Trojans. Stroop with it. Stroop drops it inside there for a shot. The foul. Foul will be on Mark Mace. And that'll send Josh Radaichak to the foul line shooting two for Williams Valley. 4.15 left here in the early going of this ball game. It's the first quarter. And uh, Vikings by three. Red Eichuk, as I mentioned, had scored his 1,000 points. So he is a, well, I was going to say a good shooter, but uh, he missed that one. Blake Ringler into the ball game to replace Zach Mace for UDA. As Josh will have one more whack at it. Here's his second try. It is no good. In and out. Rebound comes down here. Stroop has the rebound. Fires a high off the glass. No good. Return shot put up and in by hand. It's 7 2 Vikings. The Trojans gave him three tries at it there, and hand finally put the third one in. Over here it spins now for Harmon. Back out in front. Over in the wing. Here's Ringler for two. Oh, that one wouldn't go. Nice rebound inside. Then they tie it up. Hand ties it up in here with uh, Mace. It was that time. Mark Mace tying it up. Zellers coming up court. No, that's not Zellers. I beg your pardon. That's Murray. Near wing over there. Zellers now inside. And another foul call. This foul will be on Mark Mace. Be none shooting. And uh, Chuck will inbound the ball. This is Zach or uh, Joshua Dyshock inbounding it over in the wing. He comes around this side with it. He tries to push his way inside, rolls it underneath, but it's picked up in here by, let's see, wait, hold it. We have a three second violation called on the Vikings. 
So it'll be UD inbounding. Lottenschlager back into the ball game for UDA as he replaces Mark Mace for the Trojans. 325 left here in a slow moving first quarter. Inside they'll go back out for three. Nope, off the mark. And Red Eye Chalk with the rebound. Quick pass ahead here, knocked down nicely by Drew uh, Gunderman. Then Hand will try to take it inside. I think he walked with it, didn't he? Yeah, thank you. And uh, Drew Gunderman will check out of the ball game now as Blake Miller comes in. Well, Pat Red Eye Chalk and Reedy come in for the Vikings to replace Stroop and uh, somebody else for the Vikes. 22 is uh, Pat Redichuk. There's a shot by Blake. That's short. Rebounded right underneath there to that uh, Grenya. And up court with it comes Pat Redichuk. Into the corner. Right underneath they go for a shot to hand. Good. Good pass inside from Redichuk to uh, hand. And uh, hand put it home. And timeout's going to be called by the Trojans. It's 9 2, the Vikings. And 240 remaining in the first quarter. We'll be right back. Trojan timeout is over. And we're back to play here. Now the Trojans again suffering an offensive drought as they have so often this year. And scored two points here. Here's a shot. No good. Rebound comes down there to Lonschlager. He'll put a shot up. No good. Rebound comes down to Red Eye Chalk. And Josh will clear it back here now to that uh, Grenya. He'll push it on the inside there for hand for two. Hand scores an awful lot of points. If you look at his uh, record in the newspaper, uh, Hand always scores 20. He must be averaging nearly 20 points a ball game, at least in the last several ball games. And that's why he gets loose inside and they know how to hit him and they uh, can just feed him and he doesn't miss. Big, strong kid. And he drives the baseline. Now back out here for Radichuk. Here's a shot from outside for two. No good. Rebound comes right down there to uh, 25 hand again with a shot, no good. Red Eye Chalk with a shot, good. Well, the Trojans are giving them three shots, and you know, sooner or later, one of them is going to go in. So here comes uh, the Trojans with it. In. Nope, just about tipped away. Here's a shot for two. Won't go. See that? We just got games like that where they just simply won't go. Here's a foul. Foul will be on number 22. Uh, Pat Red Eye Chalk. And it'll be inbounded here by the Trojans, non-shooting. Skyler Foles comes back in there for UDA as Harmon gets ready to inbound the ball. True Gunderman reports back into the lineup for UDA. Harmon will inbound. Does so right here for the Trojans. And uh, let's see. Oxidine over in the wing for Gunderman. Back here for Ox. Trojans not getting the long ones to go. Can't work it inside. They have it stolen away, tipped off, and whatever. They're going to call a tie up here. It'll be uh, Trojan ball. They're just quick. The Vikes very quick. On the inbound pass here to uh, Lonschlager, uh, <coughs> who is at the top of the key there. Uh, he will, They just reach in there quick. Look at that. Turnaround shot. Good for two. Way to go. Well, Lonschlager got that one to go. But 24 in there, that Murray just about made a steal on that one. Made a big attempt. Here's that ball stolen away by the Trojans for two. It's no good. Eight-foot shot wouldn't go. Here comes Hand. Hand will bounce it over here for a shot by Frenya. Good for two. Frenya for two more. It's 15-4. Trojans getting run out of here. 27 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Trojans will be allowed to hold it as long as they want because the outside shooting is way off. The inside shooting is non-existent. So we got 12 seconds, 10, whatever. I've only seen this work once where we got any points out of it. Here's a shot. Maybe this will do it now. And that's going to do it as it comes back here. Here's a shot. This is good if it goes. Nope, no good if it goes, he says. Okay, so at the end of the first quarter, it is 15-4. Williams Valley. We'll be right back with the second period in just a second.
Red Eye Chalk inbounding here for Murray as we begin the second quarter here at uh, UDA. Near wing over here for Red Eye Chalk. Pat Red Eye Chalk over the wing. He'll bounce it back over this way. Pat Red Eye Chalk with it. Brother Josh inside there. They're going to throw this one away. They don't do that often, but they did it right there. So the Trojans will take over as they recover the basketball down here. Now they got it. And so it'll be inbounded here by Oxidine to uh, Blake Miller. Boy, these kids try hard. There's no question about it. I mean, they, they, they try against every team. Doesn't matter what team we're talking about here. They try. It's just that sometimes they, they can't buy a bucket. If the buckets were a 10 for a dime, they couldn't buy one. Here's a ball loose picked up in here by Miller. Over here for uh, a dump on the baseline here, and then they can't shoot it underneath there. Too much tie up inside. Shot for two, good. Matt Oxidine rolls a little eight footer in there nicely. 15-6 the score. They spin it ahead here for Josh Redichok. Over the wing it goes. Pat Redichok has it. He goes inside to brother Josh. Josh goes on the floor with it. Shot put up, no good. Rebounded in there by 31 uh, hand. His shot goes in. And he gets the foul and gets the shot. So he'll go to the line shooting one to get three. Zach Mace reports back into the ball game. Mark Mace back in there for UDA as Hand at the line shooting one. His one and only shots no good off the front. Rebound comes out here controlled. Well, let's see. Eventually the Trojans have it. Mark Oxidine with it for UDA. For Gunderman on the baseline. Here's a shot by Zach. La uh, base good for two. Zach with a nice bucket. Pass comes down this way here for Hand. Hand will bounce it near wing over here. Shot put up by Frenya, good for two. For Dychuk to, uh, who was it? And then Frenya. Hand, I guess it was, then to Frenya. Nice bounce pass underneath there. Shot put up, no good. Rebound comes back here. One fake, one shot, no good. That was two shots anyway. And back with it comes Hand for Williams Valley. Hand will take it over on the wing as he waits for his teammates to catch up here. Out in front here for Murray. Murray here for Redichok into the corner it goes. Shot from over here, no good. Rebound comes down here, who's got it? It's gonna be a shot put up by a hand. He'll be fouled, a foul will be on uh, Mark Mace and hand back to the foul line. Shooting two. Here's hands first shot, it is good. 19, 28 rather, 28. Pringler coming back into the lineup for UDA to take uh, Mark Mace's spot here for UD. Zeller's back in there for the Vikings. Or in there perhaps for the first time. No, he was in before. Okay, second shot, no good. Rebound comes down here to Gunderman. Spinning it over here for Oxidine. Ox taking it out front for Gunderman. Blake Miller on the right wing. On the baseline he goes to Zach Mace. Zach on the baseline again. Zach for two. It is no good. Rebounded inside there to uh, Radaichok. Picked up over here by Murray. Murray had it tipped out of his hands and Gunner, or, uh, Adoxidine rather will pick up a personal foul. 20 to 8. That's not the time of day. That's the score. And it will be inbounded here to Murray. Here's a shot from outside, no good. Rebound on the far side, let's see who's got it. It's gonna be a push foul called on Pat Redichuk. And that'll give the Trojans a chance to inbound the ball with 5.37 left here in the half. Up court comes Oxidine for Blake Miller. Matt Oxidine with it out front. Miller trying to see if he can find somebody inside. They can't, so they'll try to work this side now. Now inside it goes. Turnaround shot by Blake Ringler. No good. Rebound comes down here to uh, Gunderman. He's fouled, and Drew will go to the line shooting two. Redichuk is leading everybody in fouls. He's picked up three. His team has four. Pat has all three out of the four. First shot by Drew Gunderman is good. Pat Redichok's going to leave now. Phil Shroop into the ball game for Williams Valley. And uh, Gunderman 
to shoot one more. Phil has to put himself together first. And here we go. Second shot coming up here for Drew Gunderman. Is in and out, no good. The rebounded in there to hand. They'll spin it near side here to Radaichuk. Here's Radaichuk from outside for three. He's got three as Josh Radaichuk pops one right down the chute. It's 23 to nine. And uh, Oxidine coming back with it for UD. Gunderman with it. Gunderman dropping it here for Blake Miller. Blake's going to take it. Drop, pushing it back out though. Nothing can done. Nothing doing inside. Too many trees inside there. No uh, pun intended. Stroop with a big rebound. And back come the Vikings. They go across the court over there. Shot from over there for three. No good. And a rebound's going to go out of bounds. Looks like it went out of bounds off a uh, blue or off the Trojans, they say. Whatever. 421 left here. Josh Rudichok will inbound the basketball. And here it comes the hand. He tries to dump over here Stroop, but Stroop can't get it. Fires it down. Here they do for Gessner. His shot wouldn't go. And back come the Vikings. Big pass here for Rudichok. Rudichok turn around for two. No good. Rebounded in here to Zach Mace. Looping it over here for Oxidine. Ox stopping and popping. No. Uh -uh. Ball tipped back out here. And uh, Zellers up court with it for the Vikings. Josh Redichok, near wing it comes. Shot from over here for three is no good. R Stroop inside almost had the rebound, picked up in there instead by Josh Redichok. And Josh has two more for the Vikings. 25 9. And Gessner coming down and dropping it here for Harmon. Back for Gessner. Gessner trying to spin it inside. Here's Harmon with it. Oh, he lost the handle and it's tipped out of there by hand, but he got it back again. And they'll spin it here for Gessner. Gessner pushes it back outside. Shot from out here for three is good. So Matt Oxidine hits a three. It's 25 to 12. Up court comes hand, hand with it. Hand nearly lost it. Pushes it over here for that uh, Murray. In the hand. Hand picks up the dribble. Murray on the left wing. 255 left here in the first half. Oh, right underneath. Nice play. Lulled the Trojans to sleep. They did. And Zeller firing himself right underneath the basket. Got a heck of a good pass from Joshua Dichok and put that one home. Good play for the Vikes. There's a try for the UD blocked in there by Stroop. Phil Stroop with the big block that time. That's what he gets the big bucks for. He's in there to do that. And he did it that time. Here's Oxidine. For Zach Mace, back outside the spinner, way outside here. Push it over here in a wing. Here's Matt. Ooh, a punt there. That was looked like something the Eagles might do tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, uh, Murray with a big whack on that one. 224 left here in the uh, first half. Harmon will inbound. Ooh, kick ball or a foul. Gonna call a foul. Looks like a kick ball, but they're gonna say it's a block. Murray picks up the foul. For Murray, it'll be his first, the team's fifth. And uh, Harmon will inbound. Gessner. Now they'll swing it near wing over here. Harmon for three. Off the mark, rebounded in there to that uh, number 21. Zellers and Zellers bringing it up court for the Williams Valley Vikings. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Zellers pushing it over in the baseline there, but it's stolen away by the Trojans. They loop it ahead here. Right here is Harmon for two. It's good. Matt Harmon with got a nice pass that time and put that one home. 
145 left here in the here's shoot for two well he missed that I don't see how but he did the ball gets stolen away then they're going to say the Trojans stepped on the out of bounds thing as it was stolen away from hand in there but uh, Grinia comes back into the ball game. Stroop checks out for Williams Valley as Radichok will inbound the ball. Right there to Grinia. His shot no good. A return shot put up no good, but a foul call. Foul will be on UDA and uh, it'll be Hand going to the foul line for the Vikings. He'll be shooting two with a minute 35 left here in this half. So we'll see what uh, Hand can do with this first one. It is good. 14-28, they have doubled up the Trojans as uh, Skylar Fultz and Lundschläger back into the ball game for UDA. Hand at the line to shoot one more. This one is uh, no good. Rebound here to Harmon. Matt coming back with a rush, pushing it. Whoops, lost the handle on it. And uh, back up court come the Vikings. Dumping it over in a baseline. Oh, I think we'll take a charge there. Thank you very much. Yep, that'll be Frenya picking up the offensive foul. For the Vikings, it'll be their fifth. For Grenya, it'll be his first. Or hand, it was. Hand takes it, gets his second. That was hand that time. Hmm. Minute 20 left in the first half. Push it back out. Here's a three point attempt short. Rebound comes right down underneath there. Control to the Trojans. Oops, tried to go inside with it, tipped away by uh, Murray. And up court they come. This is Sellers, 48 seconds remaining. And Sellers with it out front. Sellers challenged, so he'll have to move it over there for that uh, Murray. I think a kid's name is Jan Murray. I th I'm not sure about that. But there's a comedian, Jan Murray, you know. And this isn't funny. What they do to our Trojans is not funny. So he's not, we don't think he's a comedian. No, <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, ooh, Josh was tempted, didn't do it. Grenya with it. Grenya will take it back outside. Now, whoops, gets tripped. Picked up out here is Murray. Murray wants to take it inside, spins it up there. Shot blocked away by Lodenschlager, then a return shot put up and in by Hand. Hand was lurking right underneath the bucket. Here's a shot. This is good if it goes. Whoa, went off the top of everything. So at the half, it's 30-14, Williams Valley and uh, the Trojans. Want to go back there and in the locker room and see if they can see where they left the offense. It's 16 point differential at the half. Well, the teams are back now, as you can see, and uh, we're set to go with the second half. The Trojans will have the basketball inbound to begin the second half of play here tonight. 30 14 a score, so the Trojans with a long row to hoe here, but. Uh, We'll give it a whack. I'm telling you, these kids do not give up. So they'll be in there trying and see what we can do. Ox and I will have the basketball for UD. Near wing over here for Harmon, and Ox has it. Ox wants to take it back over here, Harmon. Drop it on the baseline. Nice move inside there by Zach Mace, but it wouldn't go. And a reach bound comes down here to uh, Mace, to, to uh, the other Mace, and then it's going to go out of bounds, but it'll go out of bounds. Off the Trojans, they say. Wow. So it'll be inbounded here by the Vikes. And uh, back they come. This is Murray. Murray, whoop, lost the handle on it. Down on the floor it goes. Stole away by Harmon. Picked up in here by Brock Stone. Pushes it over on the wing. Shot from over there. Wouldn't go. And a rebound comes down to hand. Shows you just can't get a bucket. Here comes Redichuk. This is Josh by Gosh Redichuk. Spinning it over here for Murray. Murray. Taking around the top of the circle, spun it inside here for a shot by a hand, good for two. Hand's got his bunch already tonight, and he's just starting off early here in the third. Oxenine over there for Lodge Lager into the corner for Brock Stone. 
Oxidine out in front. Ox has it back. Push it over there for Ladenschlager. There's Oxidine. Ox pushing it on the baseline here for a shot. No good. Rebound comes down to Josh Bredeichuk. So, and stuffs it over there for Bredeichuk for two. No good. And on the rebound, we got a foul call. Foul will be on hand. And for him, it will be his third. And picks up his third, and he'll, uh, let's see, Mark Mace is replaced by Zach Mace. So we lost a Mace, and we gained a Mace. So we're even. Anyway, back with it <coughs> come the uh, Trojans now. Oxidine for Lodenschlager. Ox, back to Lodenschlager. Lodenschlager for three. No good, but right underneath there is Zach Mace for two. So Zach got two, 32-16. The Vikes still have us doubled up as they spin it over the wing there for Frenya and it goes out of bounds off the leg of Zach Mace, or Zach Lodgeslager rather. And Grenya will inbound the ball. He's looking for hand or no, for don't hold everything. Josh Radichuk pushing off. Uh, the Trojans will inbound the ball, and it's, uh, I think uh, going out a little gimpy here is uh, Oxidine. Ox uh, pulled something there on that. Here's Matt Gessner in there for him. In the corner, here's Zach Mace back out here. They'll swing it. Whoops, a little bit of a foul called out front here, and the foul will be on Murray. Jimmy Murray. Jimmy Murray picks up the foul. 6.01 left here in the third. And Radichuk, or uh, Radichuk, Ladenschlager will inbound the ball, make it. Back here for that uh, Gessner. Matt Gessner dropping it here for a pass inside. Now back out here. Here's Gessner. Turn it around, shot, and a foul. I'm not sure who the foul was on. Murray picks up the foul. And to the foul line to shoot two goes uh, Matt Gessner. Well, let's see if Matt can put a couple in here and get these Trojans to crawl back in this ball game. First shot's good right down the chute. Not much arc on that one, but uh, right down the bucket it went <clears throat> to the bottom. Second shot. Just as nice as the first one. Two fine foul shots by that freshman, Matt. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Matt Gessner. Here comes Murray for Radichuk. Josh out in front. He's waiting to see what's going to happen. And he'll hand it here to Murray. Murray pushes it over the corner there. Here's Krenya. Goes inside here for a shot by Radachak. Popped it up. No good. Rebound comes back out here for UD. They'll push it over here for Ladenschlager for two. He missed the shot. Ball's tipped around in here. Controlled to hand. Quickly ahead for Radachak. He has it stolen out of his hand. So Zach never did get to shoot it as racing back there with him was uh, Gessner. Matt picks up the foul and Josh Radichok to the line to shoot two. Here's his first try. It is no good. 32-18, the score. 5-17 remaining here in the third period. And uh, see if Josh puts this in or does he not? He does. 18, 33-18 now, 15 point differential. Here's Gessner picking it up for Lodenschlager. Of course the court it goes, now back here for Gessner. He'll shoot a little 18 footer up, uh, wouldn't go down, rebound, tipped around in here, controlled to Frenya, Grenya rather. And back here for that Zellers, Zellers for Murray. Murray has it. Grenya 
Flushes it over here for Murray. Murray almost lost the handle, spins around a couple of times, puts a shot up and in. Good. Billy Murray. That's Billy Murray. That's right. Not Jan Murray. Anyway, the back they come. The Trojans. 35 18 a score. Zach Mace wanted to pop that one up, couldn't do it. Spin it over in the wing. Whoa. Ball came loose inside. Here's a shot for three from outside by Harmon. Wouldn't go. Rebounded in there to uh, the Trojans. Here's Hand for two. Oh! Oh! Dustin Hand. What a shot. Wow. Wow. That's the first time I ever seen that. A timeout called by the Trojans. Wow. What a shot. Wow. -y. I bet we couldn't do that. Anyway, 404 left here in the third quarter. It's 37-18, Williams Valley. Anyway, they'll get a chance to inbound the basketball, that's for sure. And following that timeout. Blake Ringler pushing it here for a drop on the baseline. This is Zach for two, wouldn't go. Rebound in there to Grenya. And back comes Murray. <clears throat> Murray skipping down the court, pushing it over in the wing. Shot from over there by Grenier. A little bit no good. Return shot put up by uh, Ron, uh, by uh, Grenier, is it? Yeah. Okay, Grenier. He'll go to the line shooting uh, two. Foul is on Zach Mace. His first. Brian Grenier to the line shooting uh, two. First shot's good. Grenya will shoot one more. And it's no good. Rebound comes back here, though, and Grenya has it. For Murray. Bill Murray in the corner. Now he pushes it on there for Radaichak. He has it swiped away that time. And back with it come the uh, Trojans. This is Blake Miller. Near wing over here. Ox for three. Nope. Rebound down here for Murray. Murray breaking back with hand. Hand couldn't get a hand on that one as it was knocked out of there by uh, Oxidine. So I will inbound the ball for the Vikings. Off the glass for two, no good. Rebound tapped out here for three, no good. Rebound comes down there to Red Eichok. Red Eichok spinning it on the baseline. Wait a minute, he walked with it though. Spun a little bit too much that time, Josh did. And went for the walk with it. So we've got three minutes, one second remaining here in the third. The Trojans trailing by 20. And up with it comes the pass on the baseline for Zach Mace. Three seconds called on Brock Stone in the lane. That'll turn it back over to the Vikes. <clears throat> Inbounded here for Red Eye Chuck. This is that Zellers. He has a stole away from him. For two, Oxidine with the steal and the bucket. All right. Here comes Murray back with it. Murray's going to go all the way for two. No good. Return shot put up there by hand. Wouldn't go. Out of bounds it is. They save it inside here to the Trojans. Nope. No, they don't. They save it here to Frenny. And then a hand uh, check foul will be called on Matt Oxidine. He'll pick up his second. The team's third of the half. Mark Mason, Schuyler, Fultz check back in to the lineup for UD. As Redichuk inbounding it here for Murray. Pat Redichuk gets off the bench for the Vikings. He'll be coming in here next whistle. In the meantime, brother Josh doing some damage. Here's a three point attempt off the mark. Rebound comes right underneath there to hand, though. It's good for two. And for two more. And back up court come the Trojans. Here's Miller, near wing over here into the corner. Now inside they'll go for a shot by uh, Fultz wouldn't go. And back comes Hand. Hand makes a move, puts a shot up, it's good. Two more for Dustin Hand. I'm telling you, he has been rolling them up. He must average 20, 25 points a game here lately. Seriously, he has been really something. 
20 points a game anyway. Oh, there's a walk called on UD. Minute and a half remaining in the third, 42-28. Gunderman comes back into the ball game for UDA. And uh, Pat Radichok will be in here for the Vikes. Zellers inbounds are here for Josh Radichok, looping pass up here for Han. What's Han going to do with this one? Oh, he's going to run over a guy. How can they call that on him? He doesn't do that kind of stuff. But anyway, 127 left in the third. And it's 42-28. 42-20. Not 42-28, 42-20. And back come the Trojans. Putting it over here for Miller. Miller trying to take it over there, pushes it outside for Gunderman. And then a walk will be called on Blake Miller. 114 left in the ball game, or in the third. Hope they wish that it would be in the ball game, but it's not. And Murray, up court, coming down the wing with it, with a hurry. Oh, dumping it on the wing over there. Here comes that, uh, Pat Red Eye Chuck for two. In the meantime, Blake Miller with it for UD. Shot, no good, rebound, comes up here. Let's see who's got it. Well, the Vikings have it. That's balls like, it's like a Velcro ball and they're all made out of fuzzy material. <laughs> the ball comes right off to them almost every time. There's a reach in foul called on Blake Miller, reaching in on uh, Murray. Fourth team foul for Blake. It is his first of the ball game. And Williams Valley inbounds. Back here for that uh, Murray guy. 35 seconds left here in the third. Murray taking it to the hole for a two. Murray, for two. Murray playing like a six foot eight ball player in there that time. Right in and right up. For a couple. Nope. We don't get a, we get one shot. That's it. And a walk will be called here on Pat Radichok as he went to his knees with that rebound. So with 19 seconds remaining, the Trojans will get the inbound to basketball. Here they go back here for 15 seconds, 14 and so forth. 12, over there for a shot for three. Nope, who has the rebound? Well, you can almost imagine. Back up court it comes here. Here's Ox, oh, tried to go underneath there, but couldn't get it right to Mark May. So it's 46-20 at the end of three. We'll be right back with the final in this one in just a moment. Fourth period, ready to get underway. Pat Radichok will inbound the basketball for Williams Valley. He is looking for who? Zellers, but it's nearly stolen away and out of bounds it goes as Oxidine got a hand on that one and tapped it out of there. So Zellers will inbound it this time into uh, Josh Radichuk. Josh playing king of the boy, did he go to the floor heavily, but he's okay, thank goodness. And back they come. Here's Phil Stroop, ball handling out here, tapping it back here for uh, Red Eye Chuck. Here's Red Eye Chuck with it. Over in the wing it goes for uh, the other Red Eye Chuck. That's Pat. Pat taking it inside. Puts an eight footer up. No good. Rebound come down here to uh, Zach Lodgeschlager. Zach ripping it down here for Gessner. Gessner back here for Lodgeschlager. Lodgeschlager hops up partially. Blocked that one. And then back it comes here for Murray for two. It is good. Quick break after the steal. Murray goes back with three Trojans, and Murray makes it good. How do you do that? Anyway, Gessner for Oxidine. Ox for two. Short. Red Eichok with a rebound. That's that Josh that time. Gives it over there to Brother Pat. Pat will carry the ball up over the timeline if he can get by Gessner. Oh, yeah. So anyway, back over there for Josh Red Eichok. Right underneath it came, and a foul called on Matt Harmon. Fifth team foul for Harmon. It is his first of the ball game. So Josh Redichuk will inbound the basketball. Right to Phil Stroop, but Phil couldn't get it. Rebound, rebound put up there, no good. There, Stroop has it for two, it's good! 
Yeah. Two for the Stroop. Over the wing. Here's Gessner. Lonschlager. Inside. Nice move by Zach Mace, but the shot wasn't so good. Rebound comes back here to Gessner, pushing it back outside. 19 foot try, no good. Rebound to Joshua Dichuk. Quickly ahead it comes over there for that uh, Zellers, is it? Or no, that's Pat Radichuk. Into the no, that was Zellers, I guess. Here's Pat now looking for two. Blocked out of there. Ball tipped around. Picked up in there by Stroop for two more. No good. Stroop goes to the floor. Picked up by Josh Radichuk. No good. Rebound comes down here to the Trojans. And let's see. It's going to be Zeller or uh, Bonsleger coming up with it. Here's Zach Mace pushing it over in the wing. Oxidine pushing near side here for three. It's good. Matt Gessner gets three for Matt. 23-50. 50-23. Up court they come with it. That's Zellers. Zellers over there for that uh, Murray. Murray taking it down. Pushing it there for Stroop. Stroop picking it up. Pushing it on the baseline. Inside it goes and a foul called on Matt Harmon. Will be the six. Was it before the shot or not? I don't know. We'll see. I guess not. I guess it was before the shot. Mark Mace and uh, and uh, Brock Stone. Josh Radichuk will inbound the ball. Does so here for Murray. Back for Radichuk. His turnaround shot off the glass. Good for two. Radichuk with a nice bucket there. He has a nice touch, and he puts it home. Back. Come the uh, tr Trojans. Brock Stone dumping a near wing over here for uh, Harmon. Here's Stone with it. Stone has it knocked out of there off the hands of a Viking. 14 Harner in there now for Williams Valley. Here's uh, Harmon. This is for three if it goes. Nope, didn't go. Rebounded there to Murray. Murray will hold it up quickly here as his team Comes up court, Murray stopping out front for two, no good. Rebound in there to Stroop. Stroop for two, had it blocked out of there. Nicely by Brock Block Stone. Here's a shot put up by Mark Mace for two. I'm telling you, the Trojans do not quit. That's all there is to it. 419 remaining here in the ball game. Trojans behind by a ton, but they're they're flying around trying to do their best to get something going. Here's Pat Radichok for three. That's off the mark. He follows his own rebound up, puts a shot up no good, and the ball goes out of bounds up over everything. And UD with it. For Pass inside the stone. Near side, here it comes. Mace. Here's Oxidine over there for a shot from Harmon. Over the mark it goes, and uh, Stone with a rebound. Ox with it. Ox walked with it. 3 7, uh, 347 left here in the ball game. Hand and Grenier come back into the ball game for Williams Valley. Radichok and uh, Murray go out with a deserved round of applause from the partisan Viking fans who are here. They have both played very well. And up court with it comes Harner. Pushing it on to the baseline here for Frenya. Frenya for two. No good. Return shot put up in there by hand. No good. Return shot put up by Phil Stroop for two. Yes, sir, e, Bob. 325 left. Oh, pass inside goes out of bounds. It must have been tipped by hand, I guess. We're going to give the ball to UD. 320 left. Oxidine inbounding. Pushing it over there for Kessner. Back for Mark Mace. This is Gunderman. Gunderman's back in the ball game. Gunderman had three threes, I think, or something like that last ball game. Ball tipped around in here. Let's see, he's going to pick it up. Going to be Oxidine. On the baseline goes Mark Mace with it. He spins around, puts a shot up. Mark went underneath, stopped, turned around on one leg. That is, didn't walk and put that one home. 
Pat Radichuk has this one stolen away. This is a shot made good by Matt Gessner for two. 54-29. Pat Radichuk dropping it right there for Grenya. Grenya's shot no good. Rebound comes down to the Trojans. And back they come. Here's a pass. Whoops. Nearly passed it right through Pat Radichuk. For three. Nope, not that time. Just off the mark a little bit. Stroop with the rebound. Up it comes now for that Pat Radichuk. Pat had it knocked out of his hands, but a foul called on UDA with 2.08 left here in the ballgame. And that will send Pat Radichuk. Or no, only the sixth. Well, I'm not sure. Pat Radichuk to the line, shooting a one and one. Seventh team foul. For Gessner, his second. First shot's good. He'll shoot another one. 59-55-29, 29, rather. And let's see if Pat can get their 56th point. He does. Time call while we send uh, number 11 into the ballgame, Davis. Davis comes into the ballgame, so the Vikes have taken out many, if not all, of their starting five. We'll have to check them over here. No, Stroop's in there. He started, I think. And Frenyuk, who came in late, is in there. Here's the ball stolen away. Back with it. They come over there for that. Uh, well, let's see. Do we get a block or a charge? Shot went in. The count, it counts. And Davis will go to the line shooting one to get three. Foul was on Blake Miller. Davis shooting one. Harmon and Ringler return to the lineup for UDA with 154 left here in this ball game. <clears throat> Oxidine back in there to replace Blake Ringler. So, Davis with his one shot is good. Made three. 59 <clears> 29. <throat> Here comes Harmon. 150 inside of two minutes now to play. Inside it comes to Brock Stone. Brock is held. And somebody will get the foul. Harner picking up the foul for the Vikes with 146 left here in the ball game. Harmon inbounding it here, or not, I mean Oxidine rather. Ox for three, no good. Rebound comes down here though, and Blake Ringler has it, drops it back here for Stone. Stoney's turnaround shot, no good. Rebound in there to Frenya, or Grenya rather. Grenya coming up court with it, stopping and giving it to the Trojans, Matt Oxidine for two. It's good. Well, he got to talk. He got to thank Grenya for that one because he just handed it to him. Here the ball comes loose and out of bounds it goes. It's going to be white ball. <laughs> Eleven thinks he might have been attacked there, but the ref said, no, I'm standing right here. Don't, don't pull that on me. No. <laughs> Whatever. Across the court it goes now. Harmon into the corner. Blake Ringler. Harmon back outside over Gessner. 108 left in the game. Here's a shot from the wing for two. No good on the rebound. Let's see who's got it. It's going to go out of bounds off white. That's us. So with a minute, two seconds remaining here. Uh, the Vikings will inbound the ball. Grenier will do that. Here is the uh, ball nearly tapped away, but not quite. And then it is stolen away. That time by Oxidine. Ox coming to the hoop. He's fouled. And Ox will go to the line shooting two. Davis picks up the foul for the Vikings with 53 seconds left in this mismatch. And uh, Ox to the line to shoot a pair. Here's his first shot. These guys are going to be okay next year. This year, rebuilding year for UD. Some of the other ball clubs are going to lose some ball players that uh, have tortured us this year. Uh, here's the second try by Matt. It's good. Yeah. 
Inbound it there and up court with a flurry he comes and then he's going to be fouled. A foul will be on Harmon, I guess. Blocking foul called on Matt. And that's going to send uh, Harner to the line, shooting uh, one and one. Harmon picked up his third personal foul with 50 seconds left here in the ballgame. Good first shot. So uh, the crowd here now got its all of its excitement, the Upper Dolphin crowd anyway, between games of the junior varsity and the varsity when uh, they had the special presentation as Harner makes two out of two. 61-33, 49 seconds left. Here's Gessner pushing it right on the baseline for Ringler for two, it's good. Blake Ringler with a nice pass, a nice bounce pass from Matt Gessner, and Blake put that one home. Up court comes that Davis guy. He uh, had it blocked away from him, but he picks it back up. For 33, for two, no good. Rebound on the far side, control there to Harmon. Harmon, quick pass on the near wing here. It's gonna go out of bounds. It'll stay up here, though, they say, with 19 seconds left. 19.6 seconds remaining in this one. And Oxidine will inbound the ball. Not been a typical stormy uh, Williams Valley ball game tonight as the uh, Vikes took the Trojans out pretty early. And uh, there's been polite applause when they score and politer applause when we score. And uh, it's been about it. Hasn't been the uproarious type of a ball game that you normally see with these two guys. Here's a shot from outside for two. Harmon with a nice bucket that time. There's Matt, number 12. Clock down to one second, and then that's going to do it as the ball game comes to an end. Final score here tonight is the uh, Williams Valley Vikings 61, the UDA Trojans 37, and that means that the uh, Trojans now have won one non-league ball game this year, and that was against the Tri-Valley Bulldogs, I believe, so have not done well against the uh, opponents who are non-league. Haven't done great against league opponents as far as that goes, but non-league, we have been awful. So to put it, that, put it that way, Vikings deserved the win tonight. They got a good ball club. They have some good hard hitting <clears throat> ball players and uh, they have done well. They're heading on to the playoffs. The Trojans are heading on to uh, springtime practices and whatever. Polish it up for next season. We have two games to play, but they will be, they won't affect our, our uh, yearly record, so. <clears throat> Catch you at the end of the next, uh, or at the next ball game, rather, and that'll be coming up here on Friday or Tuesday night, I guess, when we play, I believe, the Halifax Wildcats here. And Power Club football. Our hobbies and interests include an active member of Pure Helping, student council, and elected for the semi formal court senior year. Her future plans include attending a four year state university in the fall. Comments from our coach, it was nice to have you join us for the basketball season, Ashley. Your smiling face was a nice addition to the squad, and we thank you for being there for us this year. Her message to her parents, mom and dad, I am so blessed to have you as parents. You have always been supportive in all that I do and teach me priceless life lessons. Thank you, and I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Baker. Our next senior is cheerleader Lindsay Paradise, escorted by her parents. <laughs> Lindsay's varsity experience includes football cheerleading for three years and basketball cheerleading for four years. Her clubs and activities include powder puff, prom committee, yearbook, and homecoming court. Her hobbies and interests enjoy shopping and spending time with friends. And her future plans include attending college and majoring in elementary education. Comments from her coach? Where have the years gone, Lindsay? There never has been a dull moment, like with you pulling your pants down while putting your skirt on, or when Elaine had to sew your skirt during a game last year. It has been a great pleasure to have you on the squad. Her message to her parents, mom and dad, I appreciate all the things you've done for me, and thank you for always standing by me and supporting my decisions. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay Paradise.
Now we have our senior basketball players. First up, Zach Wadenslager, escorted by his parents. Zach's varsity experience includes two years of basketball. His club and activities include the Yucker Club, also four years, four years of Yucker Club, and two years of Conservation Club. His hobbies and interests include sports, hanging with friends, cars, money, and girls. His future plans include attending Penn State Altoona for business. Comments from Coach, Zach is a fun-loving, carefree personality. He played with numerous injuries through the years, but his love of the game was always in his eyes. His intensity and sharp elbows will always be remembered by his teammates. His legacy will be how he persevered through his injuries and how much fun he had with his teammates. His message to his parents, where to start. You have been there for me for everything. When things are going bad, you cheer me up. You have traveled all over to see me play, and I thank you for everything. Also, I want to thank my brother and sister for being there for every game and always having a smile to cheer me up. I love you guys dearly. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Zach Lawson. Our next senior player, Mark Mace, escorted by his parents. Mark Larson's experience includes three years of baseball, three years of football, and two years of basketball. His clubs and activities include National Honor Society, Conservation Club, and FFA. His honors include second team defense in football and made the All Sentinel team for defensive back. His hobbies and interests include playing sports and hanging out with friends. His future plans include going to attend college and majoring in sports medicine. Comments from Coach, Mark has been a pleasure to coach. He is the all-American boy type of kid who just loves to hang out with buddies and play sports. Mark has been our sixth man this year and loves adding spirit and energy to our team when he comes on the court. His legacy will be how to be a total team player and how to play with fun and unselfishness. His message to his parents, Thank you, Mom and Dad, for always being there for me and putting up with having to run me to all my practices. Thank you a lot. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Mays. And our final senior tonight, Blake Miller. Blake is escorted by his mother tonight. His varsity experience includes two years of boys basketball. His clubs and activities include Conservation Club, Basketball Club, FFA. He also is on the honor roll. His hobbies and interests include hanging out with friends, listening to music, playing video games, and eating at team meals. His future plans include going to Harrisburg Area Community College to major in entrepreneurship studies. Comments from Coach, the nickname I gave Blake in ninth grade was Sweetness because I thought he resembled NFL player Walter Payton, also named Sweetness, and because his jump shot was sweet. But I also have come to realize that Sweetness is also his personality. Blake is kind-hearted, loving, and very easygoing. He loves working with our elementary school basketball players. His legacy will be how he put his heart into playing the game, and he was a pleasure to have as a player. His message to parents, I'm thankful to have my mom and dad. They have always cared for me and had lots of love. Even though my dad is not around as much, there's always a nightly phone call from him to check up on me. It's so great to know that my parents love to watch me play. My mom in the bleachers cheering, having a good time, and my dad when he's there is usually yelling something I have no clue what he's talking about. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to have parents like mine. I love them a lot, and I know they love and are proud of me. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Ladies and gentlemen, Blake Miller. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, before we continue on, we would like to take this moment to uh, remember the Halifax community. They've suffered the loss of one of their members of their senior class. Tonight, we'd like to honor the memory of Brandy West, who is a senior at Halifax High School who tragically lost her life in an automobile accident this past Friday. We'd ask that you would all please remain quiet and also please stand if you would. We'll have a moment of silence in her memory. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please, let's hear it for our senior players and cheerleaders at Upper Dalton High School.
evening, every good evening, everybody. And once again, uh, we welcome you to the Gordon E. Forster Gymnasium, where the Trojans tonight will host the Halifax Wildcats here in the next to final ball game of the TVL season for 04 and 05. Halifax coming in here with an eight-game winning streak. Tonight under coach George Harmon, just took over the Halifax Wildcats this year and has guided them to a big uh, uh, series here and a big season. The Trojans, on the other hand, still trying to find out where the offense has gone. And maybe tonight we'll be able to pick it up and find out uh, whether we can put some scores on the board and uh, give these Wildcats a rough ball game. So we'll find out here after the uh, lineups and we'll be right back with the Opening tip-off of tonight's ball game. Mark Mace, a senior, introduced first here for the Trojans. Zach Lodgeschlager, another senior, playing his last ball game in front of the hometown fans tonight. Then we have a sophomore, Drew Gunderman. Drew's going to have to have a good ball game tonight, hit some threes and so forth. And we have number 24, Blake Miller, playing his final ball game before the hometown crowd again tonight. He's a senior. And Matt Oxendine, who we will expect and hope to have a big ball game tonight. It's going to take everything we've got to beat these Wildcats, but we're going to give it a go. And we'll be back with the National Anthem and then the uh, opening tip. Very nice uh, crowd tonight here at the uh, gymnasium, where, of course, when Halifax plays here or Millersburg or Williams Valley, always seem to get a good crowd for this local rival for these local rivalries so 45 out there is a Bobby record he's a junior he'll tip it off against uh, senior Zach Lodgeleger so we're ready to go we'll pick up the boys from Halifax names as we go along and uh, opening tip off getting underway they'll tip it over here where it'll be picked up there by that uh, Cuppenhaver inside there for record record looking for bouncing inside but it's stolen away by uh, oxidine oxidine miller lunschlager uh mace that's uh, uh mark mace starting tonight and uh sophomore here kunderman across the court he goes with it for miller miller onto the baseline for lunschlager Spinning around, working the perimeter here. Now they go inside with it for Mark Macy. Picks it up, dumps it over there for Blake Miller. Blake will work it back outside. Now over to Miller. Miller looking for three. Just off the mark. Rebounded in there to number 33, a Garland. Garland quick pass down the wing. They'll dump it under CD for record. Record goes high. Puts a shot up. It's good. And he's fouled. He'll shoot one to get three. That record's one shot is good, so he has a 3-0 lead over the Trojans. It's Halifax 3. All of them belonging, of course, to Bobby Record and UD nothing. Here is Gunderman. Gunderman pushing it back outside here. Oxidine will push it inside, but the ball comes tapped loose. Picked up in there by Oxidine. Oxidine taking it down, looking to roll it back here for Lanschläger, who will give it to Gunderman. Ox with it. Bounce pass over here again to Gunderman. Looping it inside nicely for Mark Mace. Mark shot, good for two. Mark Mace stayed under there real deep that time and put one home. Here's a shot from the side off the glass. Good for two. Gata gets two off the glass from way outside. Good bucket for Gata. It's 5-2 Halifax. Here's Oxidine. Ox taking it, pushing it over in the wing. Shot from over there for three is good. Drew Gunderman ties up the ball game. It's tied at five. If the Trojans would ever have a night, and I've been saying it now for about 18 ball games, where they could hit 60% of their shots instead of 20%, we would give any ball club, including these Halifax Wildcats, a run for their money. However, that has not happened. So record will go to the line shooting a pair of foul was on Blake Miller, his first. And we'll see if record can uh, put one or two of these in his first one is good he unties the score six five Halifax Pitch Amarillo into the game for the Wildcats Amarillo into the ball game number 41 for uh, the Wildcats and here's record second shot it is good 
Bobby record for two for two from the free throw line makes it a seven five ball game. And up court come the Trojans. Blake Miller. Near side he'll come here for Oxidine. Ox back for Miller. Back to Oxidine. Ox from outside for three. No good. Rebound popped up in the air and controlled in there by that Garland. And Garland, oh, turned it over. No call. Rolled it really over everything. Here's Gator going in for two. No good. Or that wasn't Gator. Wait, who was it? Yeah, it was. Or was it? That was Cuppenhaver. Foul is on record. He picks up the personal foul. And UD has a chance to come back and tie up the ball game. Oxidine up court for UD over here for Miller. Here's Ox with it, goes across the court. Back for Oxidine, back here for Miller. They're looking for something in deep, but here's a shot by, oops, uh, Gunderman wouldn't go, it thought about it, but wouldn't drop down there. And back up court, they come now. Inside it goes for a pass inside. The ball came loose, picked up in there by Lodenschlager. He'll duck his way out of there, and back come the Trojans. On the baseline for a pass outside again here for Oxidine. Ox from a little six footer on the wing, no good. Rebound comes out in there too, uh, that uh, Wildcat. Here's Garland. Picking it up, shooting one up from 14 feet out is no good. Rebound tips around and it's gonna go out of bounds off the Trojans, they say. Huffman into the game for Halifax. Huffman comes back into the ball game for the Halifax Wildcats. As they will inbound the ball. Right underneath it comes and out of bounds it goes off the hands of Ladenschlager. So it'll be inbounded again by Halifax. Huffman will again, or I'm not sure if that's Huffman, I think it might be. Inbounding at any rate, underneath it comes, turnaround shot, maybe partially blocked. Comes back out here to Lodenschlager. He lost the handle on it. Picked up in here by Gata, or Cuppenhaver rather. Cuppenhaver with the steal and the basket. Cuppenhaver and Gata kind of favor each other. There's another ball knocked out of bounds this time by Cuppenhaver. You don't want to get Cuppenhaver mad at you because he'll start scoring like crazy. <clears throat> Anyway, it's 9-5. Trojans need a bucket here. They tap it away from Lodenschlager. Picked up in here by Cuppenhaver over here for a shot. No good. Return shot. No good. Return shot. No good. And then a foul call underneath. Huffman will be at the line shooting two here in just a moment after a UDA timeout. 413 remaining here in the first period. It's 9-5 Halifax. Trojan timeout is over. Huffman puts himself at the line to shoot his first of two. First shot's good. 10-5. They've doubled up the Trojans here. 4-13 remaining in the first quarter. And here's Huffman's second shot. It is good also. 11-5. Halifax by six. Here comes Miller. Back there for Oxidine on the wing. Harmon into the ball game for UDA now. Matt Harmon over there, number 12. Here's the ball passed away. Up court, it comes quickly here for a shot and a foul, and a foul will send uh, Cuppenhaver to the line, uh, shooting uh, two. Blake Miller. Blake Miller picks up his and second, Cuppenhaver I think. And Adam Cuppenhaver will shoot a pair for Halifax. Cuppy's first shot. No good. He'll shoot it again. Can Cuppenhaver miss two? I don't think so, but we'll see. Uh, nope, he didn't. 12 5 and with 355 remaining. No, we have a foul or something. We have a foul called on Zach Lodgeleger. It'll be underneath. It was while the ball was dead, I guess, after the shot. I don't know. Anyway, uh, they'll spin it back here now. Coming over goes over there for a shot by Hoffman. No good. Rebound comes right down to Hoffman. He'll try it again. No good. Rebound this time to Mark Mace. 
Here comes the Trojans with it. Mark Mace has it. Mark dumping it right on the wing over here for a shot for two. No good. Ball comes back down here to uh, record, and he'll give it away. Over in the wing it goes for Cuppenhaver. Cuppenhaver pulls up. Now they'll spin it inside here for Bob Record. Record for two, no good. Rebound, let's see, controlled here to the Trojans. Back up court comes Blake Miller with a nice dribble behind the back. Spins one over in the wing. Shot from over here for three. It's good. Matt Oxidine knocks down a three. It's 12-8. Here's Gata, Vinny looking around. Vinny stepping up for three. It's good. Vinny Gata for three. 15 to eight, the score. As the ball clubs exchange trays out here. Near wing. They'll go across the court there for Harmon. Blake Miller. Blake got it over there for Oxidine. Two, a long two. It is no good. Rebounded strongly in there by that Bobby Record, who outsizes everybody on the court. And they'll pass it down here now for Huffman. His shot is no good, but he'll go to the line shooting two. Foul was on Blake Miller. Blake Miller picks up his third personal foul. Huffman will be shooting two for Halifax. So Blake picks up his third personal with 226 left here in the first period. So Blake, uh, you would say is in foul trouble and uh, <clears throat> he's gonna leave. Fultz, Zach Mace and Gessner come into the Trojan lineup now with 226 remaining here in the first. And it'll be Huffman shooting up his second one. It is no good. A rebound comes right down here to Skylar Fultz, who just came into the ball game. We'll drop it over here for Oxidine. And let's see if Matt can bring it up court. He does. Guarding on him out here was that uh, Cuppenhaver. Now Cuppenhaver switches off. He's got a man with the ball, apparently. Here's Harmon, goes on the baseline. Back outside it comes for three. No, not that time. And again, a big rebound by record. Quickly up the court, they'll go with a nice pass over here from Cuppenhaver to Gata. And Gata here put it home. Nice play underneath the basket for the Halifax Wildcats. It's a 17 to eight. Here's Harmon stepping up for a long two. That's no good. Rebounded in here this time by uh, Garland. Garland, quick pass down the court. He swings it. They'll loop it underneath for a shot. No good. Re let's see. Rebound comes over on this wing, and it's going to be out of bounds off the Wildcats. So you deal inbound the ball. <clears throat> As uh, Kessner gets ready to inbound it here. One minute, 34 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Oxidine for Harmon. Harmon looking for something to develop over there. Nothing doing. Harmon's got it again. Goes on the baseline with a nice pass. Ball stolen away. Up court with it. Comes uh, a shot. No good. Shot missed in there by Hoffman or by uh, uh, Garland rather. Here's a shot by the Trojans. They pull up looking for two. No good. Garland with the rebound. Garland spinning it up court for Halifax. Oh, he walked, no call. Then he threw the ball away anyway. But where was the walk? Still 17-8, 56 seconds left here in the uh, first quarter. And uh, Drew Gunderman will inbound the ball. Up court come the Trojans. Need a couple of buckets. Gunderman here for Oxidine. Inside they go to Mark Mace over in the wing. Shot from outside for three. It's good. That got three. It's 17 11, a six point ball game. Garland into the corner. He goes with it. Gata inside. They'll come. Spin around. Shot by Huffman. No good. Rebound underneath to Gata is good. <clears throat> Gata looping one up from underneath that time. 19 11. And on the other end of the court, we're going to have a hold foul called on Cuppenhaver. It's Covenhaver's first personal foul of the ball game. And uh, UDA will inbound now with 22 seconds, 21, 20 seconds. So they'll 
They'll play for the final countdown of the thing. I can't say shot because many times we don't get the shot. But here's Harmon with it. 10 seconds remaining. Gunderman with it. Gunderman spinning it back here for Oxidine. Ox pushing it over there for Gunderman. Gunderman for three. In and out. No good. And a buzzer goes. So once again, the Trojans unsuccessful in scoring anything on that last 30 seconds of play. But at the end of one, it's Halifax 19, UDA 11. Matt Harmon will inbound the basketball for UDA as we get set to go here in his second quarter for Oxidine. Let's see if we can have a good quarter now. Put a good one together here. Have some of these shots go in. There's Oxidine. Ox, whoops, throw it away. Record picks that one right off in there. Not sure where that pass was supposed to go, but it didn't go where it was supposed to. You can bet on that. Here's Record dumping it back outside. Shot from the wing for two. It's good. Garland, Garland for two that time. And back come the Trojans. <clears throat> Here's Gunderman. Harmon. Harmon picking it up here for Gunderman. Inside they'll go here for Mark Mason. A hold foul called on the floor. No shooting. Foul would be on record his second. And UD will inbound the ball. Oxidine to inbound for UD. Trojans have been called for three team fouls, or six team fouls here rather in the first half so far. Halifax for three. Lundschläger with it, back outside here. They'll try to go on the other side. Now inside it goes, back over here for Harmon. Shot from Harmon, off the mark, rebounded in there to Garland. Garland taking it up court really quickly as they go back and forth for two. Garland to uh, Gata to Kuppenhaver for two. They worked it very well, firing it home. 23 to 11. Here they'll swing it on the near wing here for a pass inside, blocked away. Goes off the hands of Garland and out of bounds, so it'll be UDA ball. Marullo coming into the ball game. Amarillo, Amarillo, 41. Trojans inbound it back here for Gunderman. Swinging it over the wing for Mace. Now Mace has it back. Ooh. Mark was ready to fire one up there and didn't do it. Didn't pull the trigger or misfired if he did pull the trigger. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, here's a shot for three. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down on the near wing. It's going to go out of bounds as Mark Mace heads into the locker room here. Here he comes. All right. Garland bringing it up court for George Harmon's Halifax Wildcats. Garland taking it 15 foot shot. No good. Rebounded there to Harmon. Harmon will loop it ahead now for Oxidine. Ox trying to take it inside, puts the shot up, maybe blocked, not sure. At any rate, Garland coming back with it for the Halifax Wildcats. Into the corner it goes. This is uh, Covenhaver for Garland. Garland, the near side here for Gata. Gator looking around inside. He'll go with it. Back over for Gator. Gator from outside for three. It is short. Rebound comes right there to Mark Mace. Will come up court with it for UDA. Near side here. Harmon goes right inside. Oh, Mark had a chance to win and didn't do it. Mace had an open spot that time, but he didn't do it. He looked it back outside and then they threw the ball away. Here's Gator pushing it inside here for a shot blocked away nicely by Mark Mace. And back he comes. Mark with it. Bounces it right on the baseline. Shot put up in there. Good for Matt Harmon. Nice bounce pass by Mark Mace to Matt Harmon. And the Trojans get two points closer now. It's 23 13. It's a 10 point differential. Over the wing there for a pass inside. Right on the baseline for two. It's good. That was by that number 40 or 33 Garland that time. 25 13. Bounce it here for Harmon. There's Oxidine firing it against the wall. Intended it probably for Zach Lodenschläger, but uh, about four and a half feet behind Zach. And so timeout's going to be called by the Trojans, I think. 4.49 remaining. It's 25-13. Halifax remaining in the half, that is. 
Timeout's over. Halifax inbounding the basketball. Cubbon Haver coming up court for the Wildcats. Near wing, here they go to 44. I'll have to figure out who that is. Back here for Cubbon Haver. 44 goes inside with it. Oh, had it tipped out of his hands and a foul called on UD. Harmon picks up the foul for UDA. Huffman to the line to shoot uh, for Halifax. He'll be shooting a one and one. Number 44 near his rights for Halifax. Just came into the ball game. Huffman's first shot's good. He'll shoot the bonus. That's rights there, number 44. And that's Huffman there, number 43. He's the shooter. Here's his second try. It is good. Two good foul shots. 27-13. Halifax by 14. Ooh, near steal over there from Gunderman. Now they'll push it over here for a shot from outside. No good. Rebound comes down here to uh, Huffman, who will give it back over there to that... Uh, Garland pumping up a long shot, no good. Rebounded in there to Oxidine. He'll throw it over the near wing here for Mark Mace. Mark tries to go underneath. That's off a couple of uh, Trojans. The last person to hit was Zach Ladenschlager. Not a bounds it goes. Emmy Arillo is number 41. He inbounds the ball for Garland. Ooh, over in the wing it is. Inside here for Huffman. Huffman fakes once, puts a shot up. It's good. How do, how do they get theirs to go? Huh? How's that happen? I'm not sure. If Trojans try that, it'd be off the front of the rim, off the glass, and bound out somewhere. I'm telling you, we uh, the snake is around again. We're snake, snake bitten. Okay. Right there, it's tapped out of there. Garland got a hand on it, knocks it out of there. Pass intended for Mark Mace. 3.33 left in the ball game. Ringler and uh, Zach Mace come into the Trojan lineup along with Fultz. Skyler Fultz in there along with Blake Miller. So wholesale change, the only one that stays in there is uh, Oxidine, who has the ball now. We're in the wing there for a pass under the corner for Fultz. Fultz looking inside, bunts it back here for uh, pass on the wing. Here's Blake Miller for three. Wouldn't go. Wrights with the rebound. Pushes it ahead here for Garland. Garland lost the handle, picked it back up again. Now he goes inside. Back out for Garland. Garland for three. It's you, you know what. Yeah. 33 with a three. And back come the Trojans. Oxidine picking it up over there for Blake Miller or Blake Ringler. Zach, turnaround shot, no good. Rebound is in there by Fultz. His shot, no good. Rebound comes back down here for Garland. Garland pushes it over there for a shot by uh, Cubbenhaver, no good. And then the Trojans come up with the ball. Here's a bounce pass intended for Zach Mace, but out of bounds it goes. They're going to say it went off uh, Huffman, so it'll stay down here. 2.40 remaining. As Gata reports back into the ball game to replace uh, Garland for Coach Harmon. Loop this one back here. Wow. Blake puts it over in the wing. Well, we have a kickball. I guess we had a kickball that time. I think they ruled it. Oxidine will inbound the ball. Back here for Blake Miller. Blake, near wing. Ox out front there for Ringler. Over into the corner it goes. Miller has it. For Ox and I out in front. Ox for Ringler. Ringler back for Miller. Miller here for Blake Ringler. Blake steps up looking for two. It's good. Blake Ringler gets into the ball game and gets himself a 19-footer. Garland coming back with it to see if he can get a three-point shot to go. Nope. Return shot put up by record. Good. Or Amarillo, rather. Amarillo for two. And back comes the Trojans. Oxidine. Ox pushing it back over here for Blake Miller. Blake wants to take it inside, pushes it over to baseline. Shot from over there by Zach Mace. Too long. Garland with the rebound. Garland, 18 foot try. It's good. Garland gets them to go. And back come the Trojans with just a minute 33 remaining here in the half. Oh, 
There's a shot put up by Foltz. Wouldn't go, but he'll go to the line shooting two. Foltz will be at the line shooting a pair. Trojans trailing by 21 here in the first half. Shot is good. First try. Way to go, Skyler. 36 16. Sturp comes into the ball game now. He is number 42 for the Wildcats. Here's Skyler's second try. It is good. Skyler Fultz goes two for two. He's a sophomore. He'll be back. And the back is Gita for a long two. It wouldn't go down. Rebound in there to Fultz. Fultz will push it back over here for a quick pass ahead for Blake Ringler. Blake tries to go underneath there to Zach uh, Mays. Zach's foul. He'll go to the line shooting two. If I was on number 32, uh, Vinny Gata, he picks up his first of the ball game. Here's a shot. It is good. Zach makes one. Lon Schlager and Mace back into the ball game for UDA as Fultz and Ringler go out <clears throat> for the Trojans. And that puts Zach Mace at the line to shoot his second one. And it is uh, no good. Rebound comes over this way, though. Control to the Trojans. And then on bounds, they'll bounce it off uh, right. And it'll be inbounded by uh, UD. Oxidine getting ready to inbound the basketball. 109 left here in the first half. Comes back over here for that uh, Miller. Miller taking it all the way to the hoop for two. It's good. Blake Miller with a nice drive that time for the Trojans. Hits 36-20. Here's Garland with it. Garland dropping it on the near wing over here. They'll try to push it underneath. It goes out of, or no, it's controlled here by Halifax for two. It's good. Garland gets it. Heck, I thought the ball went out of bounds, but he grabbed it, apparently. Not only did he stop it from going out of bounds, he also put it up for two. Here's Oxidine and Blake Miller playing it out in front. Back over here for Ox. Ox will take it, drop it back here for a, a pass over the baseline. 22 seconds remaining. There's a shot put up and in good by Oxidine. Matt gets two more. 38 22. Wright's charges in, puts a shot up, no good. Rebound rolled around in here. They'll push it back out here for Garland. Garland over the baseline for two from Amarillo. Good pass over there from Garland. This shot wouldn't go as the half comes to an end. So the Trojans almost doubled up by the Wildcats here now. It's Halifax 40, UDA 22. Back with the third quarter here in just a moment. Well, as you can see, the ball players are back and we're ready to go now as uh, Halifax will have the ball to inbound here beginning the second half of play. It'll be 43 Huffman inbounding for the Wildcats. Probably back to uh, Garland. Yep, Garland has it. And here we go. See if the Trojans can pick up the offense as Gaeta plays around with it. Puts it over here for Cuppenhaver for two. It is good. So the Wildcats score after 13 seconds of the third half. Or third half, third period, make it. Okay, here's Gunderman for us. It's good. Drew Gunderman with a three. Way to go, Drew. And back come the Wildcats. Here's Garland trying to put one inside. No good. Rebounded there to the Trojans. Back with it comes Lonschlager for two. It's good. So Zach Lonschlager comes right back after a good rebound by Gunderman. And a good outlet there for Zach. And Zach put it home. Holder wing it goes. This is uh, a shot from the wing over there by Garland for three. No good. Rebound tipped over here. Controlled to Gunderman. Back here for the Trojans. Back comes Gunderman with it. Gunderman from outside for three. It's good. Drew Gunderman hits another three, and it's 42 30. The Trojans have cut the margin to 12. Up court with it comes Garland for Halifax, pushing it over here for Cuppenhaver. Cuppenhaver is taking it inside, puts a shot up, but there's going to be a foul call, a blocking foul. We'll send Cuppenhaver to the line, shooting. No, he won't be shooting. It'll be inbounded out of bounds. 
No shot, no shooting. Before the shot, foul was on Gunderman, his first. It'll be Huffman inbounding the ball over here for Cuppenhaver. Out in front they go to, get, to uh, Huffman. Huffman trying to make a move inside, can't do it. Now he spins it in there for two from Gator. That shot's no good. Rebound back here to the Trojans. This is Mark Mace with it, taking it inside, and he is held. Huffman will pick up the foul. And Mark Mace will go to the foul line, shooting two. Huffman picks up the foul. Let's see if uh, Mark can make a couple of these. They'd be uh, very important here. Trojans coming out with a little more offensive power here in the beginning of this third quarter. First shot is no good. So Mark will get a chance to make one more. He can narrow the gap to 11 now if he puts this one in. <clears throat> His second try is good. 42-31. And up with it comes Garland for Halifax. Pushing it over there now, right inside it goes to Huffman. Huffman on the baseline for two, it's no good. And Record will put a shot up, but he's fouled. And let's see where Record was going here. Outside, no shooting. Gunderman picks up his third. And Huffman will inbound the ball for Halifax. Over here for a shot from uh, the wing. And a foul called on Zach Lanschlager. And that will send uh, Garland to the line shooting two. Garland will be shooting a pair. Zach Mace into the ball game now as, whoops, wait a minute. No, he's not coming into the ball game. All right. Looked like Zach Mace was coming in to replace Zach Lonsleger, but it didn't happen. So we'll wait till we see what Garland does with his first one. It is good. Now it'll be Drew Gunderman coming out and Zach Mace coming in for UDA. Here's Garland's second try. It is good. 44-31. Back come the Trojans. Oxidine over the wing he goes. Blake Miller. Back here for Ox. Ox near wing it comes. Under the quarter there for Mark Mace. Inside they go now for Zach Mace. Outside for three. It's good. Oxidine. Matt Oxidine for three. So the Trojans finally getting that break they've been looking for where things are going in. Here's Huffman, turnaround shot, no good. Record with a shot and a foul called on Mark Mace. Wow. Mark picks up the foul. Record will go to the line shooting a pair. 44-34, the Trojans had it down to 10. Record uh, excellent foul shooter as we've seen earlier in the first half. Let's see what he does with this one. It's good, perfect. 45-34, the margin back up to 11. And his second try is no good. Rebound tipped around there, controlled to Blake Miller. Miller heading up court with it for UDA. He'll pick up the dribble and fire it near wing over here. They'll go into the corner. Here's Oxidine with it. Bounces it off the leg of, of uh, Covenhaver. So UD will inbound the ball. Lonschlager to inbound. Back here for Oxidine. Back for Lonschlager. Lonschlager tries to dump it underneath. Whoa, wait a second. Out of bounds, it goes off the uh, Wildcats. Say Covenhaver hit it last, I guess. That's what they're ruling anyway, so UD will inbound the ball. Fires it back here for Miller. Miller goes inside with it for Mace. Here's Blake Miller, 17-foot try, short. Rebounded over there to uh, Gata. Gata up court with it for Halifax. Stop it, long three. No good that time. Rebound comes down and out of bounds it goes. It's going to be off the hands of record and out of bounds it goes. 5.13 left here in the third. <clears throat> Oxidine coming up court for Blake Miller. Into the corner it goes for Zach Mace. Zach looking for something to happen. Pushes it back here for Oxidine. Ox over to the corner there for Lodenschlager. Back for Oxidine near wing. Miller. 
Miller is challenged and fouled as Covenhaver will pick up the foul. And it'll be inbounded here on the wing by Zach Loudenschlager. Zach here for Blake Miller. Miller wants to take it in, can't do it. And uh, Oxidine wants to take it in, pushes it on the baseline here for Zach Mace for two, no good. Zach has his own rebound, puts a dribble up, puts a shot up, no good, he's fouled. But the foul is going to be on number 43 out there. That's uh, Huffman. Mark Mace will go to the line shooting two. Mace at the line to shoot a pair for UDA. Here's his first try. It is good. 45-35. A bucket here will make it a uh, single-digit lead for Halifax now. Emmy Arillo comes back into the ball game for Halifax. Huffman checks out for the Wildcats. Second shot is no good. Rebound. Let's see. Control here. They'll swing it back out here for three. No good. Rebound comes down and record has it. And there's going to be a foul called on Mark Mace. Mark, Mace. Mark probably hurt himself. He's going to leave the ball game, I think. He's going to look for a little bit of help here. He might have got a scratch. So he's got to leave. Gunderman's coming in. Mark did something to his finger, probably a scratch that drew some blood. So he's going to leave and get a tape or a band-aid or something on it. Near wing here. It'll come over here for that uh, Covenhaver and then in for Garland. Garland swinging it inside. Ball came loose, but picked up back here by Gata. Gata dumps it over here for record. Record shot is blocked and a foul called. Where that foul was, I'll never tell you. Zach picked up the foul. Record will pick up the ball and shoot uh, two. His first shot, good. Kid's a junior, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, by gosh, he can shoot. Plus, with that height and strength he has inside, really makes himself known inside underneath both buckets. 47-35, Trojans need a couple of threes here, I guess, to get the crowd sparked back up again here now. Here's uh, Oxidine with it. Ox dropping it back there for Gunnerman. Four minutes, five seconds remaining here in the third. Ooh, near steal over there. Here's Blake Miller pushing into the corner for Zach Lonschlager. Inside he goes for Zach Mace. Back over there for Zach Lonschlager. And they're going to say it went out of bounds. Zach didn't quite make the catch over there from the uh, Blake or from the Zach uh, Mace pass. And he fired over there toward Lonschlager. And Zach couldn't quite hang on to it. So back comes Garland for Halifax. Over there for Gata. Gata pushing it for Garland over the wing. Here's that uh, pass over here. Knocked away. Record had it. Spins it back here. See, now we would lose those, and they don't. Shot from over there by Huffman, or by uh, Everello. No good. Return shot by Record. Good. Record again. Big, strong kid in there, and he makes the play. 49-35 <clears throat> now. Trojans drop back again by 14, so... Sina got stuck here. Here's Zach Mace. Zach will push it back from out for for three. That's off the hood. Uh, no good. Return shot put up. No good. Return shot put up. Good. Zach, Zach Mace gets two in there. The Trojans got three shots that time, which is a rare occasion for UD. Well, they're going to drive the line, and he's fouled. Lundschlager picks up his fourth, no, his third for Lundschlager. And that will bring uh, Gunderman back in and also uh, Kessner in the lineup for UD. Seventh team foul makes it a one and one situation, so Garland will go with the line to shoot a one and one. Here's Garland's first try. It is no good. Short rebounded here right to Gunderman. 
He'll come back, have his pass blocked away, but picked up in there by Zach Mace for three or two, maybe it was no good record with a big rebound in there again for UDA. And back come the Wildcats. This is Copenhaver from outside for three. No good. Rebound tapped around in there. Gunderman has it for UD. Passes it here for Lanschlager across for Gessner. Gessner for two. It's good. Matt Gessner hanging one up for two. And back with it come the Wildcats. This is Garland for Gaeta. Gaeta dribbling it around outside. 21 foot try. Good for three. The Gata Scott three 39 52 52 39. Here comes Gessner Gessner winding his way down the court stopping here for Gunderman Gunderman for Gessner over there for Oxidine Ox sets up for three. It's good. Matt gets three 52 42 it's back to a 10 point differential. Here's Garland over here for a pass inside for that record. And record will drop it back. Garland inside for record. Record wanted to make a move. Now we got another foul called. You get around record, you're going to pick up a foul. There's no question about it. The kid makes the moves, and uh, Trojan makes the fouls. Some of them are invisible, but my gosh, they'll call them. Fultz comes back into the lineup for UDA. As record goes to the foul line, shooting a what? One and one, I guess it is. First shot, good. Well, you give record a chance for a one and one, he'll shoot two. He is deadly from 15 feet out at the stripe. Here's his second try. It is good. Two perfect foul shots, makes it a 12 point differential again now. 54 42 has the Trojans bring it up court. Minute and a half left here in the third. Swinging it over here with a nice bounce pass inside for Skyler Full. Skyler's fouled. He'll go to the line shooting two as a foul is called on record. Skyler, pretty good foul shooter, so we'll see how he can make out here. See if he can get those two back and get the Trojans back to within 10. Here's Skyler's first try, and it is good. Huffman returns to the lineup. Wrights returns to the lineup for Halifax. Record out of there now with three fouls on him with a period and 127 left to play. So he's picked up his third. Fultz shooting his second one, and it is no good. Rebound comes over this way, though, and grabbed by Wrights. Has it tipped. Let's see. Well, they're going to still control it, more or less. Boy, they really after Garland there, but they just couldn't steal it from him, as you could see. Here's Garland with it. Looping it inside there for Huffman. Huffman wants to go up for two. That's short. Rebounded nice and there to Zach Mace. Ahead here for Gunderman. Or for uh, Oxidine, rather. Ox goes over for Gunderman. Now here's Ox, near wing. Back for Oxidine. Oxidine from outside for three. Just off the mark that time. And the rebound in there to that Amiorello. Back for Garland. Garland for three. It's good. Garland gets three, 57, 43, 42 seconds. A lot of threes in this ball game. Thank God for both sides, too. There's Zach Mace out front. Oops, a little bit of a walk called that time on Kessner. Took that little bit of a step. Almost undetectable. 34 seconds left here in the third. Garland jumps to a halt, passes it back here for Wrights. Wrights over there for that uh, Huffman. Now they'll, they'll play it down. This is Garland. 17 seconds, Garland. Now let's see if Halifax scores on their time delay here, way wiping out the third period. Here's Garland over there for Wrights. Garland taking it inside, 15 foot try, short. So they didn't do any better than we didn't do. Here's a long shot at the buzzer, which won't get near the bucket. So it's 57-43, a 14-point margin for Halifax as we go into the fourth and final period here at home in the 2004-2005 season. The ball will belong to the Trojans to inbound, and uh, senior Blake Miller will inbound here for UDA as he gets set for the final quarter. 
Here's Oxidine over here for Miller. Oxidine. Ooh. Back for Miller. Back to Oxidine. Over there for Drew Gunderman for three. Just off the mark. Rebound inside there to Lanschlager. He'll have to take it back out. Wow, nearly lost the handle on it. Pushes it back over here. Oh, boy. And then uh, Kuppenhaver gets whacked, or rather, wax Gunderman in the face with that one. I think Drew's going to be okay. He took a whack up around the left eye. Ref asked him if he's okay. He said, yeah. He said he has two eyes. He only needs one. No. <laughs> okay. Back they come. Here they'll pass it near wing. Over here is Miller for three. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down here. And let's see. It's going to be controlled back in to Gunderman. We'll push it here for Oxidine. Near wing comes to Blake Miller. Into the corner it goes for Mark Mace. Here's Zach inside with a nice pass and a good give and go. Well, where was that play all year long? Wow. That was nice. All right. Back with it comes Halifax. Now Garland. Over here for Cuppenhaver. Into the corner for Garland. Back to Cuppenhaver on a give and go. Hold everything. He's fouled. Foul will be on uh, Oxidine. Gosh, how could that ref even see that? It was so quick. Anyway, Adam Cuppenhaver will go to the line shooting a one and one. 57 45. Here's Cuppenhaver's first try. It is. No good. Rebound in here. Let's see. Picked up by Blake Miller. Blake coming down the court with it, looking around for somebody to give it to. Passes it over to Wink. Here's Gunderman. Back outside for Blake Miller. Blake for Oxidine. Down to the corner. Lodenschlager back here for Drew Gunderman. Oxidine has it for Blake Miller. Into the corner it goes for Mace. That's that Mark Mace over there. Here's Zach Lodenschlager heading for the sh bucket for two and a foul call. Foul's going to be on Huffman. And Huffman will send uh, Zach Lodenschlager to the line of UDA, putting in two. Come on, Zach. Just for the heck of it, let's get a little closer here. 57 45. 57 46. Huffman will check out of the ball game as Emiliello comes back in there for the Halifax Wildcats. He's number 41. Here's Lodenschlager putting up his second shot. And it is good. Ten point differential again. 57-47 with 6.33 left here in the ball game. Garland over there for Gata. Gata into the corner. Garland for three. Nope, not that time. Rebound put back up. No good. Rebound put back up this time. Good. And Cuppenhaver will go to the line shooting one to get three. The foul was on Oxidine. Ox picks up his second. Cuppy at the line shooting one. And here is that one. And it is no good. Rebound there to record. They tangled it up. Record and Lottenschlager go to the line pretty hard that time. Zach picks himself up. He says he's going to be okay. And uh, Matt, Harmon into the game for the Matt Harmon will come into the ball game to replace Blake Miller for UDA. Here's Matt number 12. Jimmy Allo pushing it inside here for Cuppenhaver. Cuppenhaver wants to push it on the baseline here for record. Record shot. Good. Oh, record just stands in there and can get up. The only thing you do would be to hack him, and of course that would create a foul and whatever. Gunderman for three. Nope, off the mark that time. Rebounded in there to that Emiarello. Back for it come the, uh, who is that? Coming Haver for two more. And timeouts called by Coach. Okay, the Trojans are ready to go back at it. Trojans will have the ball. Oxidine will inbound the ball for UDA. 67-53. It's back up to a 14-point margin with that last couple of quick ones there that the Halifax Wildcats got. This is Matthew Harmon coming up court for UDA. Near wing over here for Oxidine in the corner. Now back for Oxidine over there for Harmon. Harmon. Picking it over on the baseline here for a shot 
by Lodgeslager wouldn't go. Return shot, good. Jack Lodgeslager puts it in good for two for UDA. It's a 12-point ball game. Here's Garland. Garland near wing for Covenhaver. Covenhaver for two. It's good. Covenhaver just slithered right in there and got himself two. Here's Harmon. 69-55. Two thir or three fifteen remaining here right now. Hanschlager for three, just off the mark. Rebound comes back there to uh, Oxidine for Gunderman. Here's Ox with it. Ox for Gunderman. Gunderman for three. It's good. Two Gunderman for three. A timeout called by the Trojans. Timeout called by UDA. It's 58-69 with 3:02 remaining. Trojan timeout is over. Amurillo will inbound the ball for Halifax. Does so over there for Garland. And Garland will bring it across the timeline with Zach Lodenschlager guarding him. Oh, and a foul called. Zach reached up and whacked him on the arm. And that's going to send uh, Garland to the foul line, shooting two. Tenth team foul. He'll be shooting a pair. Garland missed his first shot. Here's his second one coming up here. He can give them their 70th point if he puts this one in. He did 70 to 58. It's a 12 point ball game. Back with it come the Trojans. 250 remaining. Here's Oxidine. Ox for three. Just off the mark. Rebound underneath there to record. He'll drop it back here for Garland. Garland with a quick pass underneath for record for two. Missed the shot. Ran in, tried to make the layup, and missed it. Well, back of the Trojans. Near wing over here. Shot by uh, Lodenschlager for two. Wouldn't go. Rebounded to Garland. And Gar or, uh, to a record, rather. Now Garland has it. Garland will push it over here for that uh, Covenhaver. Covenhaver bounces it there for a shot by uh, UD. There's an over the back and no, no foul call, but they're going to call a walk. I guess record doesn't get called for over the back fouls. Whatever. It's uh, UD inbounding. 214 left here. Trojans should at least cut it to single digits. Over to wing. Back outside here for Harmon. Harmon comes near wing. Lonschlager right inside. It goes for a shot. Blocked. Push back here to Garland. Garland will pick it up. Garland looping it ahead. It's tapped away by Lodenschlager and then picked up again by Garland here. Garland near wing over here to Cuppenhaver. Cuppenhaver stopping. Eight footer. No good. Rebound and an over the back foul finally called on Halifax's number 41 Amurello. And that's going to send a Trojan to the line shooting a one and one. Uh, who is it? Who do you go over the back of? Looks like it's going to be uh, Matt Harmon. Okay. Matt Harmon will shoot for UD. He'll be shooting two. Or shooting a one and one, I mean, I beg your pardon. Matt will put the first one in and he'll get his second one. Here's Matt's first one. Oops, no good. Rebound comes down this way. Controlled here, too, the Wildcats. Garland over there for Gata. Gata, their wing over here. Shot. No good. Rebound. Oh, my. Not to record. Well, there's a foul. Record had it. The foul's coming. As soon as he pulls the, pulls the rebound out, you know there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Bill Bobby Record will go to the line for the foul 17th Harman time in the ball game, and he'll be shooting two. Harmon picks up the foul for UD. Record shooting two. Here's his first one. <clears throat> it's good. Blake Miller returns to the UD lineup. Huffman and uh, Wrights return to the Halifax lineup. As the second shot is in for uh, record. 72-58. 14 point ball game. <clears throat> Dronjans with a minute and a half left. Do not have time to mess around. Got to do something quickly here. Ox pushing it over to wing. Shot from over there for three. Short. Rebounded in there to the uh, Wildcats. <clears throat> and Garland will bring it up court for Halifax. Minute 16 now. I don't think the Trojans are going to get it to single digits. Now the way it looks. I thought we might, but here's Wrights with it. Dropping it back here for Covenhaver. Over on the wing it goes for Garland. 
Garland been in here for Covet Haver. There's the Wildcats run some time down and a foul to be called on Oxidine. For Matt, it'll be his third. And that'll send uh, Covet Haver to the line, shooting two. Covet Haver missed his first shot as Blake Miller comes out of the ball game for UDA. Zach Mason, <coughs> or rather, Mark Mace and uh, Zach Ladenschlager also out of the lineup. So all the seniors are out of the lineup currently for UDA as uh, <clears throat> second shot coming up here. It's good. They made one out of two. 73, 58, 15 point margin. Longo, or Mongol rather, in for Halifax with less than a minute to play. Here's Gessner for Oxidine. Back to Ox, back to Gessner, over the wing, shot from over there for three, no good. Rebound tapped around inside here, controlled to Garland. Garland up court with it for Halifax, 40 seconds left in the ball game. So the Halifax will extend their string to nine. Uh, the Trojans, on the other hand, will drop another one here, and uh, I'm not sure where we're streaking. Our last win, I think, was at uh, West, uh, what's it called now, Midwest. The Trojans have a mild losing streak going here. And uh, that'll continue also. It's kind of an over the mismatch kind of tonight with these two ball clubs, you would think. But boy, the Trojans have played a heck of a good ball game, scoring 58 points with four seconds, three seconds. That's going to do it. This will be the last shot if there is one. Nope, that's it. So the game comes to an end. The Halifax Wildcat fans, a sigh of relief. The Trojans hung tough at times in there, especially in the second half, and come up short now. It's Halifax 73, and the Trojans 58. So we congratulate uh, Coach Harmon and his uh, Halifax Wildcats on another good ball game, and uh, the Trojans on a better ball game uh, than we've seen lately. And uh, they deserve a lot of credit after that ball game too, because uh, they did put a thrill on them for a while there. Uh, could never get to single digits. That was uh, that was my highlight. Uh, that was going to be my highlight of the game. If we could at least get to within single digits with these guys, which would be certainly a feather in our cap after you consider the records of both ball clubs and uh, how we have been unable to score lately, but by gosh, we got to within 15, picked up 58 points tonight against these Wildcats, which is not too bad. Young record here had one heck of a night for the Halifax Wildcats as he just dominated inside and uh, played one heck of a ball game for Coach Harmon. So that'll do it as uh, we will go to the final ball game coming up Friday night up at Greenwood when the Trojans will be the hosts, the guests of the Greenwood Wildcats. So a lot of threes tonight. Uh, Oxidine here having a bunch of them. I'm not sure how many, but picked it up uh, some good points. Finally had some shots that were going in. And uh, that'll win you a ball game sooner or later. So final score again, UDA, or rather Halifax, 73. The UDA Trojans, 58. Good night from uh, Courtney Foster Gymnasium.